Hi friends, this is Belal Khan and you are watching Simplified Coding. Before moving ahead in this video, I would like to ask you all that everything is fine, right? You successfully built this admin panel the same as I did. If any of you had any problem while building this admin part this far, then please comment your problem, okay? Or I would say record your screen and send the video to my Facebook page. Uh, which is simplified coding. You can see it here. Uh, link is given in the description of the video as well. Do like my page please and send the screen recording demonstrating the issue you are getting. Okay. Now let's move ahead in our course. So we saved category in the last video as you can see now in the screen. But there is an issue. Okay. Like we need to reset this form after a success or failure. Okay. So for now category is saved then after saving the category we need to reset this form. So this is what we are going to do in this video. Okay. So to reset the form come back to your project and at the bottom just after the closing script we will create a new function. Okay. So let's do it. We will create a function named function reset form okay now first we will select our form here so our form is at the top you can see it here we have this form and the id is category form remember you also have this id if not just put the id to your form okay this id will help us to select this form so this is the id of our form category form and here in this function that we created, we will select the form. And resetting is very simple. We just need to select the form, which is category hyphen form. And we will reset the first form, which is at the index zero. Okay. And we only have one form. So you do not need to worry, but we have to give this index. Okay as this returns an array. So we reset the form. Then what we will do is we will also hide this image view. Okay. Sorry, not image view. I just uh, not image view. Uh, it is actually an IMG tag. Okay. So we need to hide this. So what we will do is we will select that image tag as well. And the ID was selected thumbnail let's confirm the id so we have it here and the id is selected thumbnail okay so the id is correct so we will select this img tag and we will call the method fade out okay this will hide the image we will also reset this progress bar and we will write completed inside it okay so let's select the progress bar as well, which is upload progress dot HTML. And here we can write completed. Okay. Let's cross check the ID. So we have the ID as upload progress and we have given the correct ID below. Okay. So that's okay. It should work. So we have the function that will reset our form. We just need to call it. Okay. So we will call it here when we have some error or failure, whatever we have, we will reset the form. Okay. So we will reset the form here. We will also reset the form here. Uh, we will also reset the form here. Okay. Where we are displaying that category already exists. So we will call the reset form function here as well. Now it should work. So let's try come back to your admin panel, refresh. And remember, you should press control and F5 for re refreshing the page. Okay. So that's it. Now let's put some name, uh, colorful birds or tech wallpapers technology and gadget wallpapers. Okay. So we have the title. We have the description. Now let's select the thumbnail. 
and let's save it. Now one more thing we can do is come back to your project. I just forget this. Uh, we can here we can round this percentage. Okay, it was displaying the pointed value, so we can round this percentage here uh, in the HTML. So you can call math dot round and you can pass the percentage that's it now let's test it again technology tech wallpapers okay let's select the thumbnail and click on the save button And you see it is uploaded the but the form is not reset okay so let's check if we have any error and we have an error reset form is not defined so let's check we defined the method or not so function is defined here reset form but we have a very little spelling issue here it should be reset form okay so this is actually the problem we are calling reset form but here it is rest form so let's change the name to reset form and it will work now let's try again let's add a new category let's say colorful birds birds then let's try saving it You see the category is added and the form is reset. Okay. So that's all for this video friends. You can get the source code from GitHub. Link is given in the description. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please hit on the like button, share this video and if you are not already a subscriber, please do subscribe. This motivates me to create content for you all. And yes, if you did not like it, please suggest me what I should do to improve. And yes, you can hit that dislike button and comment whatever you want in case you did not like this. Thank you guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.